I'm going to show you how to do oil painting with beadwork. Materials required for oil painting with beadwork canvas board, yellow carbon paper, design sheet, dress patches, dull finish, golden flat beads, linseed oil, oil colors, gamboge hue, ultramarine blue. Crimson Lake, Burnt Umber and Scarlet Lake Flat Brush, size number 5 Round Brush, size number 0 Place the canvas board Place the carbon paper Place the design sheet tightly So that it doesn't move I'm folding the paper to the board Options, you can even fix cello tape to the board And fix it tightly Now let's start taking the Trace with a ball pen. I'm going to do this picture with oil paints. Oil paints take time to dry. Once the oil paint is dried, you have to stick the beads. It at least takes three to four days to get dried. Now the design is traced. I've completed. Now let me check whether the design is traced well on the canvas board. Remove the carbon. Before you start the painting, I'm going to give impression to the bead area. Thick impression so that it will be easy for you to identify where to stick the beads. Once you paint it, these impression will not be seen. Once the impression is done, I'm going to start coloring now. I'm going to take burnt umber, scarlet and gamboge shoe. I'm going to take Crimson Lake for the basket and Ultramarine Blue for the background color. Take a fat brush. I'm going to start coloring. Okay, I'm just adding two to three drops of linseed oil for the free flow of paint. I'm using burnt umber for the center part of the skirt. You can't use water. Now, clean the brush well. Just Merge the two colors with a dry brush. Now I'm going to use gamboge shoe for the remaining part of the dress. The paint should be evenly spread. Now I'm going to color the hair part only with scarlet and burnt umber. Now I've taken zero number brush for the final touch of the picture. You could see the eyelash here. I'm just going to apply burnt tumble for the eyelashes. The picture is almost getting ready. The painting part is over. You could see the impression left out to stick antique beads. I'm going to stick the dress patches for the two hair accessories. And now you could see the impressions for sticking the antique beads. I'm going to stick the dress patches for the hair. Apply a little bit of Fevicol. Just put in the center part of the hair. So I'm going to apply Fevicol for the dress. Just put a round circle. Catch one end of the bead while sticking the beads. Applying one more circle for the inner. Now I'm going to stick the flat beads. Once it dried completely, you have to remove this thread. 
Always go for antique beads which gives a unique look. I've completed the whole picture. I've completed sticking uh, the beads for the dresses, for the hands, for the hairs. Keep a note, once the oil painting is dried, you have to stick the beads. I've used burnt tumbers and for the body I've used gamboy shoe and scarlet and for the hair I have used scarlet and burnt umber and for the basket I have used crimson and for the background I have used ultramarine it's an attractive gift it goes well with all backgrounds if you frame it it looks more beautiful and attractive place the canvas board place the carbon paper place the design sheet tightly trace with the ball pen now let me check impression to the bead area okay i'm just adding 2 to 3 drops of linseed oil for the free flow of paint now i'm going to use gamboy shoe for the remaining part of the dress the paint should be evenly spread and now i've taken zero number brush for the final touch the painting part is over and now you could see the impressions for sticking the antique beads always go for antique beads which gives a unique look i've completed the whole picture if you frame it it looks more beautiful and attractive